All right, I did not think this would happen. I thought this guy would never come. Uh, this is the five, probably more like ten dollars after shipping in tax. Um, five dollar dummy 13 that I bought off Amazon. I thought it was a knockoff, so I bought it to compare the quality. And we that is what this video is about today. We are going to compare a five dollar Amazon dummy 13 a $15 one that I bought off Etsy, and a $34 one from Oleafy. So we are going to look at which one you should buy, which one is best for you, and is it worth it to really pay 34 bucks compared to 15 or five? The main points we are going to cover in this video are quality, which will be like material, the tightness and looseness of joints, which we'll call durability. I guess the looks could be cool, good too. Uh, we're going to talk about the price, the accessories they come with. Other smaller points we're going to talk about is shipping, can it stand on its own, how easy it is to build, customer service, promotion, reliability, and is it worth the price? Let's get right into it with material and we're going to work our way up. We're going to go 5, 15, 34. So out of all the materials, as you can see, this is 3D printed, this is 3D printed, they're meant to be 3D printed. This one's not 3D printed. This one looks to just be a plastic mold, which at first I thought was really cool. Like, whoa, they put more work in. They used a plastic mold, and I even have these. You can tell it's plastic. That was not 3D printed, which is really cool. Yes, until you get to point number two. Well, still point number one. The material, it doesn't feel as good, like just to touch it, like this one feels cooler, feels better, feels like a better figure, both of them. This one feels kind of cheap and kind of looks cheap, in my opinion. And that really starts to show when we go to the tightness and looseness. Um, so the looseness, like look, there's an elbow joint looseness. I had a little bit in the wrist looseness. I don't know why it's not doing it now, but it's, it was kind of loose earlier. So I guess it fixed itself, but you know that's not the case with figures. It's going to start. Yep, there it was. Yeah. Uh, the legs were really loose. Like, Let me try and... So they get really tight because there's a little notch in there. But for the most part, they're like really loose. Oh, they went the arm, the elbow. And unlike, so this one's really bad with looseness. I actually had to, this shoulder piece kept falling off, his back neck piece kept falling off, and his head kept falling off. And I had to um, glue those in with super glue so it would kind of stay. But these other, I would not super glue the actual joints themselves. So, okay, here's the wrist being loose. So that is why these are still loose but these work well and aren't falling off because those pieces i could do without ruining potentially ruining the articulation not looking too great for the five dollar one right now it doesn't look as good because i actually like the uh, 3d look it's much looser falls apart and probably can't stand very well because I am using putty, but we'll get to that when we get to the can it stand on its own. Um. Oh, and articulation. I didn't want to get to the articulation, but this one actually can't move its, like the thigh swivel doesn't move. It looks like it's moving right now because this piece falls off and it's not like flush with it. It's like this comes in and then keeps going down. Whereas these other two both have perfectly working thigh swivels. So that is another big downside to this. It has a little more limited of articulation. Not a lot, but that's the only joint that doesn't work for me. So yeah, now looking to great $5. 15, the quality looks really good. This is honestly one of the, this looks exactly what I expected. It was really good overall quality. The tightness and looseness is really well. Like you can fit almost any pose you want, except for I had like a little calf looseness right before. It's like just a tiny bit. Yeah, right here. That's where it is. There's the looseness in that. 
So this one has slight looseness to it, but it looks really good and it feels really good. The material seems really nice. We get to this one though. It, in my opinion, it looks better. Like it looks shinier. This one's more matte and I prefer this shiny look. I think it looks nicer in my opinion. It just looks cooler. It feels really cool. I haven't had any looseness right now so far with it, and it's been the one I've been playing around with the most because this one's had to been uh, this one's been going through surgery because of an accessory situation I'll get to later. So I had to be very careful with that one. Well, this one is very nice and tight. I've been able to play around with this one, and it so far hasn't had any looseness of joints, anything falling off. So yeah, that is a big plus for that. So far, the $34 one from Oleafy, which is actually really weird. If you go to the, actually, I'll get to price later. Um, so yeah, that's a win, first win for this one, price. So going right into price. Like I said, this one was like five bucks, probably six, cause it was like 5.99 plus tax, 10, 10 bucks. For five more, you can get this guy. I don't remember if there was tax and shipping on him. Well, there has to be tax. What am I talking about? I don't remember if there was shipping or if it was free, which I bought from Etsy, which I'd say for the price, definitely fits the price. Seems very nice, very worth the 15 bucks. And then we go over here for this one, which is 34. But if we go to their website, it has been on a constant sale since I bought this trying to make you feel like you're about to get left out and need to buy it for 34 it says it's 70 dollars for a single one you go to buy it you can buy two of them for 64 67 bucks so you're getting a good deal right you want to get that but no it's always been on sale ever since i bought this one it's been on sale so don't it, it for mine the reason i bought it it said like Oh, at midnight, it's going to be gone. Get it during our buy one, get one free sale. No, it's still here like a month later. Yeah, it's probably 34 bucks. It just makes it look better. This one's the cheapest. So this one, I guess, wins that price, but it's not really worth the price. So I don't know what I'd say about that. My last topic is, is the price worth it? So we'll touch back on that in a bit. Accessories. This is important. We will go with the cheapest accessories first. So we have, I just got this one. It has grabby hands that are holding those. We have two fist hands here, like that. We have a sword with little spikes on it. it looks kind of weird. It has a gun, This is a nice normal gun. Two sprawled out hands a katana and a axe and they all fit in the hands really nice they're all really good um now we get to this guy which it's, he has a shotgun a pistol he has another pistol uh over here uh holster for it my holster broke because i put too much force on it so that's what i meant by he was doing surgery like he was in surgery uh, it's a lot more sturdy now, but I'm still scared to use it. Then we have a sword holster with so two katanas. And yeah, that is it for the, that one's accessories. Which, um, so this one with the printing needed, I guess this kind of goes with material, but we'll go with, I forgot, so we're going to talk about it now. This one is, has a lot of tightness in it, like if... The, the swords don't go in at first. I found it very easy to use, um, very nice to use. Grab like some dish soap, put it on the sword, put it in the thing, and it'll loosen it up. I had to do that for the swords. They still smell like dish soap. I just <laughs> smell it, that's kind of weird, but they smell like dish soap because I had to do that. I did that for the holsters as well. And I may have had to do that for getting one of the, pieces in but i wouldn't do that for a joint because that also loosens up the joints it's meant to loosen it up so you got to use just a little amount and then if you need more loosen up a little more with more dish soap really cool and then we have this one over here the 35 dollar one 34 dollar one with the buy one get one free sale 
I don't know whether to use $70 because that'll look cooler in the title in the thumbnail and title but like it's, it's gonna just realistically be 34 so it comes with oh I forgot to go over the hands for this one so it has a grabby hand and a open sprawled out hand it doesn't have a closed fist hand but if you're gonna be in animation that this should work for a fist hand like it's basically a fist hand that's fine now for this one we have two grabby hands which are holding his katanas right now so he also has two katanas he has two normal swords that aren't katanas then we have two pistols two closed fist hands which look really cool like this is back to the material just the moving it back and forth like the lighting on that is super cool and the sprawled out hands so ranking these I'm gonna have to put this one at last. It doesn't have nearly as much materials. It does have the two extra fist hands that this one doesn't come with, but that doesn't bother me. So that's not gonna matter matter for both of these. This one is where I like the accessories most. They both come with pretty close to like, this one you'll have more weapons, but I really like the holsters and the shotgun. The shotgun really helps. The holsters are really nice to get it on your figure. So that, uh, this one wins the accessories Now let's go into shipping uh, my oh wait, I'm gonna compare some of the accessories too So let's get in like look at this. So here is the $5 gun versus the $15 gun versus the um, $34 gun these two right here the 5 and 34 are the same model they look to be which I honestly prefer this one. This one just looks cool. It has so much more detail. And I think the creator himself from Immersive Design on Etsy, I think he went and sculpted this himself because he also, uh, this one was actually a free one. He, I, I'm getting ahead of myself. That's customer service. I'll get back to that. And then let's go Katanas. Compare all the Katanas, which I already know who won this one. Uh, so we have the five, 34, and this one for the 15. So let's just get five out of here. It's between these two. This one's longer. I'm not gonna make a joke about that. Um, and it's the same as model as the other $5 one. This one has more thought into it. It fits in the scabbard. It has a cooler hilt. So I guess it just depends on which one you prefer. They're very similar. This one's just a little smaller and yeah so i'd say both of them win that one for katanas all right and let's see now we have shipping this is this is a big one to me but it's in the smaller points because it doesn't really impact the figure itself once you get it you got it but shipping wise i bought this one first off amazon then i bought this one off Leafy. then i bought this one from immersive design because those two were taking too long. It was a week or so after, and I haven't even heard anything about when they're coming. So I bought this one, and I also saw, I didn't know how trustworthy the other ones were, so I, I'm getting ahead of myself again. This one came really quick. It was a bigger package too, bigger package than the other one. I bought two of them here, two dummy 13s, one from this one, and I bought a dummy 13, two mini 13s and an easy 13 from this one and it came quicker like in a week or two def i think it was like a week it was really quick this one came the second quickest after about like a month or so month the month to month and a half this one just got here yesterday i don't know when i placed the order but it was before this one it took so long to get this i have no idea why it took so long it, it's so I don't know if the shipping's important to you. Yeah, that is. I guess this one would win. This one wins shipping. All right. Can it stand on its own? Which is very important for just displaying. And I am using putty to stand all three of them up right now. So this is going to be interesting. Let's clear the stage. Oh, yep, there goes a piece. So I would super glue that in, but I want to super glue like the joint itself. Like... Okay, let's remove all 
weapons to get it the best chance of not toppling over. There we go. I guess that's an all right standing pose. That's good. It, he's kind of bent back. It's not like, it's just like that. It's kind of get him to stand up more normally. There we go. I guess he kind of stands. It's a little wobbly. I am going to bring in my other one so that there's no accessories or anything weighing him down. We are going to do a normal stand that this one, I just couldn't get in the pose for some reason. Just stands very well. All right, uh, let's remove the katanas and remove the putty. All right, he has to fend for himself now. Let's see how well the $34 one stands on his own. Really well. Okay, uh, of course, once I said really well, he slipped. There we go. And as we see, there's no putty on them. Uh, just for fun, so I'd say they all stand pretty well. This one definitely stands the worst. So they both, these two, the and more expensive ones stand better. Uh, let me just shake my table and see which one's left. Okay, not surprising. Oh, oh, he wins. All right, there we go. Um, let's get him back up and putty to stand back up. How easy is it to build? I would definitely say we're gonna go from five, again in order. The $5 one was the easiest to build. Maybe it was because it wasn't 3D printed or something, but it just, all the pieces popped out and p out of their uh, thing really nice and easy. Uh, they all snapped together really easy. It even had like um, instructions. So that one was pretty nice to build. This one was the hardest one to build, the $15 one. Um, no instructions so you have to find a youtube video on it which there is one so you're not out of luck um no instructions and then the pieces are harder to pop out of their thing and that's because the supports are thicker so you'll have to probably cut the supports off which some of the pieces are a little thick so i had to like in the head, I haven't had any problem with the head falling off. With playing, this one's head's fallen off and this one's head definitely fell off because I had to glue it back together. This head has never fallen off and that's because the piece was a tiny bit too big. So I grabbed this and just like skinned one layer of the 3D off, slipped right in. Either doing that or probably using dish soap could be nice, but that other, I don't know if it was just too tight or if it needed to actually be cut down a little bit but it wasn't too hard to do it was just a little cut and it was all good so that one took me a little while and no instruction so i had to watch this bad youtube tutorial on how to do it the guy didn't talk the entire it was just a quiet video of building the entire time um this one is the second easiest second hardest i guess <laughs> but it, it was relatively easy it also had an instruction which was awesome the supports would stick, but the pieces popped out really nice. You could just rip out the supports off with your hands instead of using a knife. But one problem with that is it would start to rip off parts of the figure. You can see right here. I'm going to use the katana to point out right there is some. There is some on the head. I don't remember where. I think it's somewhere right there. So it's not the head part's not bad, but it was especially on the chest piece that bothers me a little bit there's some right there on the back there's none of that on the 15 dollar one so i guess that is a plus for that so for the different sections in here i'd say easiest to build this one wins um getting supports off this one wins but this one looks the best in the end with that like if it had this quality like material on how it was to build that one would probably i guess win because once you build it you don't have to i don't know the building process isn't that big to me i guess but if you go if you want easy 
maybe don't go for that one but if you're willing to take a little bit of time like 10 extra minutes then building the other ones 10 20 maybe 20 that one's all right so now what is our next one customer service so i don't know if you've ever ordered anything off amazon you don't talk to the person usually unless there's a mistake no customer service in here yeah so I can't say anything about that. Same with the Olifi. I can't really say anything about the customer service. The only reason this is an option is because of this. This guy was really nice to me. And I wanted to point, mention it at least. Because I, like I said, I only ordered one dummy 13. But I have two of them. I, he was all out of this gold filament. And I said, yo, can I get this color without knowing that? And he's like, yeah, I'm out of the gold filament. But... I will give you the one in the promotional picture and um yeah so he sent me the one in the promotional picture which has like m custom uh he modified the files to make it like have cooler armor so this one's really cool has a cool story behind it too and that that'll make this one obviously win for customer service because the other two you don't have any in their websites but this customer service was awesome i just wanted to mention it to this guy yeah, and he gave me a free dummy. I didn't buy this one. He just gave me this one as a bonus. Because he was feeling cool. And then he also got me... It's regular for companies, especially in 3D printing, to do this. Like, send you something like this. But I always love it. Like, little, especially wobblies. To make you just think good of them. So you come back. So I got this little guy for a keychain, which has a really cool fade. And I got this little pterodactyl that like... Ah! Customer service was awesome with the Immersive Design Store from Etsy. That's his full name is Immersive Design Store, not just Immersive Design. We want to promote that up. Uh, promotion. This one, I don't know if there's any promotion, obviously. It's, this one, I don't think there was any promotion. So he's not trying to force it. The o only reason this is a topic is for Olifi. I don't know if you've seen those on really weird or annoying Dummy 13 ads like about fighting stick bots oh we're better than stick bot and it has like the ai voice it's dumb they always act like they're the ones who made it when the real creator is sousaphone and he doesn't sell them so if you say like hey did you buy from the original creator you literally can't all you can do is print it from the ori original creator none of them are technically legit ones you just have to buy it from someone with a trusted printer which goes right into our next topic of reliability um amazon you don't know where you're buying it from it could be from just could be from a company with a good printer or just some random dude and this one wasn't even 3d printed and and it, i thought it was cool at first but it kind of ended up looking a little cheap so i guess if it was better plastic it could have been cooler um this one is so reliability olifi i read into his thing i think he said he prints them himself i thought because of how long it took with shipping that he was a drop shipper but there's no way you would drop ship with this quality this quality is really good i would say the most reliable one is this guy because one the shipping was great the customer service was great he if he sends you these that means he definitely 3d prints and 3d printed it himself showing like i know that came from like i know where that came from i can tell you he made it there's no chance he drop shipped it this one probably didn't drop ship because it was only five bucks and that would be a really low price to originally buy it from this one just seems like they're making it cheap to make a little money off the hype of these guys um and then these ones uh, after looking at it more, it seems to be in the quality. It seems to have been that they printed it in themselves, but be careful because there are a lot of drop shippers. Some of those companies are drop shipping and just buying these cheap ones and selling them for the price. So make sure to look into your company before. And sadly, I only know these three, which Amazon was from a general brand. It said, so I don't even know what company made that. Just don't buy one off Amazon. But yeah, if you want to buy one from like Titan 13, which is not the actual name of these guys, according to the creator, Sousaphone, that's just the guy who promoted it and took credit for making it. If you want to buy one from them, just make sure they're credible first. 
and let's get into our last topic of is the price worth it this is one of if not the most important ones because you want to make sure you're getting your money's worth i would say if you're going for animation this guy maybe like if you going for i guess if you're going for an animation where you're gonna kill the dummy you're gonna rip it apart like maybe burn the pieces uh, yeah that you can use this one have it like do some moonshine animation treatment on it like <laughs> destroy it sure i don't personally don't think it was really worth it because it's not as cool as the other ones i don't want to use it as much where this one i would say definitely is worth the price 15 dollars you he's really he, he had really good customer service um the quality is there you get really good accessories it's definitely worth it then lastly we have i'm gonna say 70 dollars because that's what he says on his website 70 dollars for this guy is not worth it at all 70 dollars this one's like you could have three of these for the price of that i still wouldn't do it because i'd rather have this than three of those you could have let me see if my math is good you could have let's see about four of those because 15 30 45 and that'd be 60 yeah we'll go four and a half of these guys i would definitely take the four and a half over one of these for their 70 price the price they say listed but if we go with the 34 i would say if you like the quality and you prefer the accessories sure so i would say to get the most bang for your buck i would definitely go with this one because you could get two of these for the price of this and this one's more like the average price for a figure like this and of this quality would be about 15 it'd be a little under like a marvel legends and stuff you get a handful good handful of accessories great articulation the quality might not be quite as much as the double twice the price but that the only difference is the quality in this one and so this one's obviously is more better quality but like i personally think this one's more worth the price i'd say this one's the winner of the comparison unless you have a lot of money and you can afford to just buy a million of these things then i guess go for this one if you got all the money in the world you might as well get one of these so just i i just say don't buy this one get get this one out of here these are the two winners which i would say this one wins be, to, for being more affordable so that is it for the comparison obviously um be careful where you buy these things from do your research make sure you're buying a quality one and not a drop shipping one because if you buy a drop shipping one you're gonna pay the price of this one but you're gonna get something like this so don't buy from a drop shipper do your research from where you buy it from that is it for the video i hope this helps you out and yeah, bye-bye.